Indians right there around the back side of the marsh. You can just get right between them two? Yeah. See, he's not very far. I know right where he's roosted. We gotta go back this way. Two of them in here. This one that's gobbling over here to the south is our best bet. See how these woods open up right here ahead of us? Mm -hmm. Right there's where we gotta be. down the river bottom with him this morning. Right in between two gobblers. We've got one right here. Probably 80 yards in the tree. Another one right behind us. Both of them just going back and forth hammering. There's this little ditch full of water here. And this may cost us this bird because I got a feeling he's gonna fly down out there in that open river bottom and he's gonna come up through there and he's gonna be about 50 yards from us. And I ain't gonna be able to do nothing with him. This turkey behind us is definitely on our side. So if he starts coming, we're just gonna reposition. Should be in a good spot. These are on. There's one of them, I just watched him fly down. Yeah. This one's right here. And one to the right out in front of us. How far? Down the gun there. Oh yeah, I see him. Strider, Strider. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Kill him. Wait, kill him. Kill him. Huh? Kill him. Which one? The right one. Can't see him. Give me some. Left one. Sweet. 
Right one. Right one. Kill him. Right one. Shutter. Kill the right one. Kill the right one. Oh, oh. Crawl that gun over here. Crawl over here. Crawl over here. I got two. <laughs> Give me a corn dog. <laughs> Come here, Bradster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding? <laughs> that was the most hectic thing I've ever been a part of. <laughs> you do it behind these three trees or be something like, yep, nope, and you couldn't see him and I could. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I don't even know what was happening with that. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> we just doubled up. Dude. Then you dumped that one. I'm like, keep calling. You're like, I don't have a tag. I'm like, I do. <laughs> That's the thing. You're like, keep calling. I'm like, what? Why? I only, I only have one tag that I bought. And Jake's uh -huh. like, wait, I got one. I'm like, oh shoot, yeah. <laughs> so I kept calling, and that bird kept their attention. And I seriously crawled uh -huh. from right there. All this stuff. I mean, the last two days we crawled right through it, and I mean they can't see. I it. just racked another one in, and belly crawled over here to Jake, and he grabbed that gun that Jake took off that was with him. Yeah, yep. It's amazing how like in all the chaos they stick around. But had had you not shot that one, he'd have been gone. If we tried to do that, you know what I mean? If that bird oh, yeah. wasn't sitting over there flopping like that, what yeah. they let you get away with? The way we did this, we set Brody up over here in this brush pile because we got turkeys gobbling that yep. way, we got them gobbling this way. And I didn't know which one was were going to come in first, so Brody's mm -hmm. sitting up there pointed that direction. <laughs> we're set up here pointed this direction at these turkeys. Started calling and none of them apparently have a hen. Because <laughs> they all just, like I saw that one trotting across here yeah. and as soon as I called to him. Just running. No decoys, nothing. They just came running in. You have to buy yourself another tag? Yeah, I got to go buy another one. <laughs> Well, let's try to navigate this river situation. <laughs> I didn't hear any celebration after the first shot, so I was like, either you miss or there's another one. I, was, I thought there. I was deathly afraid I was going to miss. Because see that big dead mm -hmm. limb there? That vine? Yeah. They were behind that the whole time. Finally, I mean, that strutter, he just wouldn't ever bring his head up to, to you know, give me a good target. So I just shot the one that was walking. <laughs> it got the strutter eventually. <laughs> we got to find a way to cross this thing. Turkeys are back there, about 100 yards. We gotta go up this creek. I think we can cross right there, boys. Don't you? Might end up with some wet feet. Maybe not, though. I'm trying to find a way you guys can cross without getting your feet wet. I can get my feet wet for an hour this morning. I'm going back home to take a nap anyway. <laughs> Shaky legs? Yeah, all this mud's slippery. Be very well documented if you fell. Camera. Oh, <laughs> he just went for it. He just went for it. That's my man. Yeah, dude. I should feel kind of good, really. Yeah. Probably no big deal. There he is. You hold this gun. <laughs> Oh yeah, two year old. Don't want him to get any older than that. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like those longs first. Just a late hatch two year old is what that guy is. 
Heck yeah. There's number one. Let's go over here to Jake's now. Real pretty bird, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're both two year olds. That's what we wanted. Yeah. That's, that's why it worked the way it did, probably. That's exactly <laughs> what we wanted. Look at how pretty and open this is mm -hmm. down through here. Just that short green growing no. Usually in a regular average spring, it by this hard. time of the year, it's knee high. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it gets real nasty in here and those, these birds start using those fields more. Right over here is where I shot my turkey. I mean, y'all can see the creek right here. And we were setting just right across it, up against those two bigger oaks. That's awesome. We got to get these turkeys back across the river now. Ready to change your socks, corn dog? <laughs> I'm already wet, so I can, I can walk anywhere. <laughs> See you later, brother. Hi. Dude, it crushed both of them. Yeah, it did. How far were they? I, I think it seems a lot. They seemed a lot further to us just because they're across that creek. Dude, was, they were coming <laughs> straight in. You know, you're like, gonna laugh when you watch it. You can just hear all the chaos, though, huh? Yeah, I can hear you guys talking. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm not on him. Or I'm, on him or I'm not on him. And then I'm on him. <laughs> we did have to. I mean, we got extremely lucky, number yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but we did have to be real careful about how we got in there, tight mm -hmm. to those birds. Yep because we were going in and trying to get in this open river bottom in between two gobblers, what we thought was two and actually three gobblers. Yeah. Another thing, I didn't call to them while they were on the roost hardly at all. No. Only once we got set up, we just listened to them gobble for a while, let it get light, you know, and then right about the time that those turkeys were getting ready to fly down, I think I cackled at them once and I just yelped. You just did that real soft yelp at first though and they both responded, the two yep. groups did. Once you, once you hear them respond, what I like to do first thing in the morning, or really with any turkey when you're going to call into them, is you start off soft and you just slowly increase that volume with every series until they answer. Sometimes people will be too quiet and they're, they're calling real soft because that's what they've been taught to do or whatever, but the turkeys can't hear it. Mm -hmm. You know, and in that case, you're, you're not doing any good. If they can't hear it, what's the point of calling? Yeah. But at the same time, you don't want to blow their hat off because then they think that there's a hen that's coming straight at them and they'll, they'll just post up right there. In this instance, as soon as they flew down and started walking, I hit them a little bit harder. And then we actually saw the one, I think the one you shot, mm -hmm. walked right across the middle of that bottom over there. And I didn't call to him until he got right behind a tree. I didn't want him just to pick up his head and look and get my position. I waited till he got behind that tree and I called and he hammered and he stopped. And then he came to come find us. Yes. That's what he had to do. Yeah. And then all, all chaos just <laughs> broke loose. I think the then. one you shot that then pitched down pretty much right in the middle out in front of us here, right to where this bird was when you first started calling at him. He pretty much went straight down off the limb, this one here. Yeah. Along with that Jake. Well, we get, we got to get these things to the house. Right. Yeah. I we got to get got yesterday's bird marinating right now. Kind of oh making me, yeah, making me drool a little bit. We got to get that and go cook that and dress these. It's getting to that point. Once you start getting cuckleburrs in the beard, <laughs> it's time to yeah. shave the beard. No, it's not. <laughs> what did that guy call you the other day in the comments? War beard. What, Aaron War beard? Dude, that thing is heavy, man. Yes. Like that's that's probably close to as heavy as Greg's bird yesterday, and Greg's weighed over 26, he said. Mm-hmm. Jeez. We've also got a bunch of questions from you guys asking what we do with our turkeys, and uh, we eat them all. We take what we don't eat right now, and then we freeze a lot of it and eat it throughout the summer and into the fall. Usually by fall, we're out of turkey. But that's all for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for joining us. If you haven't subscribed, please do that and give this video a like. Next time we see you, we'll be camping down by the lake. Yep.